Hi everyone, I am Rajesh Kumar. I am having close to 16 plus years of experience in DevOps, SRE and DevSecOps. I have worked with more than 12 software organizations around the globe. I would like to introduce you all a DevOps School's a flagship certification program in DevOps, SRE and DevSecOps. Uh, this program will get started in the weekends. Uh, so get involved. Uh, please contact us on the phone number given on the screen. And in fact, you can email us on, on the contact at the rate of DevOps School. Okay, so today I'm going to teach you uh, how to work with Splunk. So we'll understand that what is Splunk, how Splunk works, why do we need Splunk, and uh, then how to install and configure, and then how to start searching the problems in the Splunk. So, so what? Why we are using Splunk? So we are using Splunk for the log analysis purpose. Yes. So let me tell you here. Uh, I think uh, one of the sessions I have covered that what is observability. Okay. So if you if you remember that what is observability, that uh, there I I discuss about it. Uh, observability is the process where you do the infra monitoring and then we do APM monitoring and then we do the log monitoring and we do synthetic monitoring and the RAM all this thing we, we do that and that is the observability. Now earlier the infra monitoring the the, the tool which we had earlier, which was uh, very popular, uh, which we have a data doc, and APM, which was we, we had it New Relic, and for log monitoring, Splunk. That was the earlier, let's say, if you talk about two years before from now, then we were using uh, these are the three monitoring, and these are the three tools, which were very popular. But now, because we know that Datadog can do everything alone, Neuralink also can do everything and Splunk also can do everything. So here, uh, my focus is, uh, is uh, today is on log analysis, but actually Splunk, Splunk uh, can do everything. Splunk can do infra also, APM also, log also. So Splunk itself, they are uh, you know, portraying themselves as a observability platform. So if you see that here, uh, and here if you see that, so they have observability for infra, performance, and some services intelligence and stuff like that. So they are they are into everything. But uh, our focus for this training will be more aligned to log monitoring. For, for this. Clear, all of you? All of you? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 So, log analysis. So, how do we do the log analysis? Let me tell you in a simple way. A Splunk is a leader in the log analysis, log management, log searching, log analysis, and stuff like that. Elastic search is also is a very good uh, options for log analysis. So some of the time, many people, they do the mistake. They don't do the log analysis. They say, hey, we have a running this application in some host and they are providing sufficient metrics for it. So let's not waste our time. And sometimes you say, hey, we are doing great and everything application is running fine it's very popular in the market so why we have to spend so much of things uh, where we have no concerns and sometimes you say you don't have a time you're busy in dev qa ops so no time for log analysis and suddenly the system is failed when system is failed now probably you look for you know some solutions here so system is maybe system is hacked maybe 
and hacking is not happening in one day actually it is the hacking has happened on that day but the 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 steps or the process has been started one year before actually. that means you 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 are being attacked from last one year it's just like a hacker decided to down your services at that day that time okay so you've been hacked slowly and then so you should have done the log analysis and uh, you know you will realize the mistake and you'll start setting up the uh, all this stuff so so what is a lock what is a lock so log is basically anything whatever we do in the it system anything uh, is being recorded or it can be recorded for example i'll put it in a very simple way do you know when you click on the any website that is also being recorded from where you are accessing what is your ip address what is your locations what is your you know address physical address from where you are accessing everything is being logged actually you know so log is everything like whatever you do in it it can be logged or it is being logged okay so that means you have every data what a user is doing on application on system on a network on devices and everything you may have it you can have it so log of the machine data is everywhere in fact you are generating it right now let's say you are using the go to meeting you are watching my screen and this is also being generating the data so some of the very popular sources of the logs such as uh, for us uh, i think it will be more popular sources for log is server side that is where we are run application but uh, nowadays we are running application with the containers also so that is also one source of log application log database log but if you are in administrative side then in network proxy malware firewall it is log also you will have it so yeah this is the logs so uh, these are the sources of logs server and workstation logs which includes linux logs windows logs log file access logs file system logs network related log for firewalls warning alerts ip addresses and all database related log like audit logs configurations schemas tables queries web transaction logs click stream logs location browser time devops log you have a test logs log for j event event logs port check in iot logs and all so you understood that anything on the system it is generating a logs there is a different different types of log and uh, you have available now why it's so important to analyze the log so one of the reason which i started with it and that is like security security is one of the most important uh, aspects in uh, today's uh, software engineering world because if you look at this the application which you use almost uh, i don't remember any application from last few years i'm using which is not online yes uh, i'm using office right now ms office but again that we also migrated to the cloud also so why it's so important so you want to analyze the logs because of production monitoring and debugging purpose you want to check the resource uses like cpu ram storage network you want to check for the errors on the website you want to check for the errors and slow queries on the database you want to check that do we have any robot automated uh, robots running your system security issues you want to track your websites visitor also what they are doing you want to know if there is any threat which you may have in your website or application or server network and security and securing infrastructure you need to analyze the log okay something which can be automatically which can be automated so actions so for that also you want to measure the security you want to know metrics trends and all 
also on top of that regulations for the each government also you have to you have to maintain right us government indian government and, and on top of that last but not least you want to work on the incident and for that you want to work on this incident and you have to you know troubleshoot or maybe there's one one keyword which we call it in sre post mortem okay you want to do that and for that you need a all sort of logs so you can do the post mortem well and a right way so these are the some of the way uh, which we have a logs now let's say you will have the setup with you let's say in some time i'll make sure that your splunk setup is working i will install the splunk server and then some forwarders which will take the logs and feed in the splunk server and then you can see that but after that what you want to do see how to search that i can teach you but what to look for in the logs that that I, no one can teach you okay you have a logs different sources of logs what to look for in the logs you have to find out some of the leading points which we have here is like let's say you are you are just learning so what you look for it so you should try to find out the logs where the password was changed some maybe or unauthorized logins or login failures new login events malware detections scan your firewalls open and closed port ddos attack some network error someone who changed the file logs for the change the file someone logs where the data has been exported from the database some new process started or running process some process stopped or some shared access event disconnected events or some new user accounts creation or something or someone modify the registries and all so you may have to decide what you want to log have have to do that by the way let's start with only one password changes would you like to share it with me what would be the approach if if i ask you uh, let's say you have a windows server logs uh, stored at splunk and if i give you the splunk and i'll tell you hey find out the password changed logs line i want to i want to have that so what would be your approach anyone would like to comment on it anyone look for look for keywords right like look for like password or something you know uh, in the logs that's like the basic thing that we can do look for keywords related to the uh, part you know password mm -hmm more better way maybe some some other inputs i would like to from you thanks in like you see for the reset password and uh, forgot password uh, request coming in the logs hmm, but how so there will be a how? specific page on the website right so how many hits are you know happening on that password reset page no let's say password is changed for the windows machine and okay. windows windows log i am saying see password changes i understand that on application but I, I just want to be specific now let's say the window changes has happened password change has happened for the some windows machine and that log is captured by splunk is stored in the splunk so what is your approach see i am not asking you to uh, you know give me exact uh, uh, things but give me the approach actually i want you to no i want to know how you think anyone else would like to add something windows password change i want to know those logs only search for or some link. regular expressions on the splunk whatever the searching capabilities on the splunk hmm. so i'll put it in this way see here guys uh, everyone you know focuses on see this is our human nature actually everyone focuses on the objective like rushing for the objective let's say we are teaching you splunk so everyone wants to learn splunk 
so no one wants to focus on the fundamental base if you would have any issues with our channel membership you can drop an email to us at contact at devopschool.com or you can also unsubscribe from channel membership anytime if you don't want to continue or did not like the video please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries we will reply to them at the earliest thanks for watching